Greetings, humans. Welcome back to the Black Bill. Ah, should we offend people? This is going to be a long, long conversation, diatribe. Um, when I storyboarded this, just the initial storyboard is 22 separate components to the argument. Um, I could do those in probably groups of four or five or six, um, depending on how related they are. And the more I think about it, the more stuff, content there is related to this argument. It's going to be, it's going to be a little mini series. Okay. Buckle in. Here we go. Should we offend people? Um, complicated moving parts. Let's start here. What does it mean for a thing to be offensive? So I think we have three basic levels of offendedness. And number one is uh, someone, uh, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to say speech. I'm going to say speech. When I refer to speech, I mean all of the stuff that's included in the Bill of Rights. When I say speech, I'm referring to everything in item one of the Bill of Rights, the First Amendment. Um, so speech means art. It means wedding cakes. It means your tweets on Twitter and your posts on Facebook and uh, the groups that you belong to and your, your need for your right to privacy or essential right to privacy. So I mean all of that when I say speech. Okay, memes. Yeah, for sure. So level one, a person sees a speech article and says, I'm offended. Okay. So the second level would be they see a speech article and they say, stop offending me. And then the third level would be the claim, that's offensive. All right. All right, now we have something to unpack. In the first case, someone is teaching us how to treat them, and that is the valid, necessary part of relationships. You should teach the people around you how you want to be treated. But then they're free to make decisions about that, including whether or not to remain in the relationship. Um, I'm offended. My feelings are hurt. And like Stephen Fry might just exclaim, so fucking what? But really, what we have here is the opportunity to consider the person's feelings. And we might reach any of a range of conclusions about this. We might decide the relationship is more important than the meme we're sharing. We might decide the person is insane and not to be taken seriously. We might set up a private group that excludes that person. Or we might see that the thing we've said, said, created, shown, retweeted whatever, actually is harmful and doesn't represent the best version of ourselves um, or of our argument or any particular argument. All of that would require some level of introspection. It's easy to get defensive, to double down on speech, and thus sort of burn all of our bridges. And the end result of that could be isolation. In the second case, stop offending me. Um, in that case, the person has asked us to modify our speech around them. Limits on speech are never to be taken very lightly, but still, here we have some choice. Effectively, the choice is already stated. The statement's an ultimatum. Stop offending me or else. Now, the or else might be implied or the or else might be stated plainly, but either way, this is an ultimatum. The or else might be, stop offending me or I'm leaving this group, room, church, relationship, board, job, unless you limit your speech around me. Again, we can take the person's feelings into account but we might be less inclined to do so because of reactivity. Tell someone how you feel. They likely listen and sympathize. 
If not, empathize. Tell someone what to do, and it's more than possible that they do the opposite just to spit in your eye. Tell a culture to get masks and vaccines they protest in the street. Tell a culture to use pronouns they're not used to and they elect literal Nazis into government. Okay. In the third case, the person has made a metaphysical claim about the essence of the speech. The speech is offensive. Offensiveness is an objective, essential property possessed by the object. The object, therefore, is intolerable. Wow. Wow. Offensiveness is always a cultural subject of judgment. Americans used to burn Mexican people over an open fire making their torture last an entire day, while children and other picnickers laughed and applauded the screams. Now we have more empathy for people. Well, most of us do. And as a society, we do. Torturing animals or people would be considered offensive for more or less everyone, more or less everyone in America. But that's still not objective. At most, it is intersubjective. What if most of us agree something is offensive? Should we ban it? Or is there value in the offensiveness? Stephen Fry again. But there are those I might wish to offend. Leave it there for now. We'll come back to this. It's complicated. Uh, next up, is pornography good for society? Black Pillow.